blood levels of PSA. Which stands for prostate specific antigen, which is a protein that's actually secreted into the blood system by the prostate. And it can be abnormally elevated for numerous reasons. Director of Research at Mayo Clinic's Department of Urology, Dr. Jeff Karn says such false alarms may subject men to unnecessary tissue sample biopsies or to aggressive cancer therapies that may not be warranted. Recent well-designed studies in both the U.S. and Europe have concluded PSA testing shows very little benefit for men with no symptoms of prostate cancer. Dr. John Tilbert says that may seem surprising. But that's the general feeling right now is that screening in the general population probably doesn't save a whole lot of lives based on what we can tell right now. Using the same logic, Dr. Tilbert says some doctors are beginning to rethink the value of the dreaded rubber glove exam in which doctors try to feel for bumps or tumors in the prostate. There's a very limited role for the snapping of the glove in the asymptomatic man, in my opinion.